Welcome back. The Prime Minister in Russia, that's our top focus story right here. Russia rolling out the red carpet for Prime Minister Narendra Modi. The Indian cultural performances for the Prime Minister is underway as we speak. Pictures on your screen are of the Prime Minister getting a rousing welcome in Russia. What you see on your screen is a blend of Indian and Russian culture. Also, the Prime Minister has arrived in Kazan in Russia where he is meeting right now with members of the Indian diaspora. He's touching down, he's touched down rather in Russia in Kazan for the all-important BRICS summit. The Prime Minister underscoring the importance of the BRICS summit also before he left, talking about the fact that this is an important forum for regional cooperation. He's been welcomed by the Indian diaspora as you can see in these pictures as he touched down. What we also saw a while ago was banned Baja and Bonhomi on full display in Russia. We'll put those pictures out once again for our viewers as there were cultural programs that were put out before the Prime Minister in his welcome. This is the BRICS Summit 2024 where the Prime Minister has got a rousing welcome in the country. Indian cultural performances also for the Prime Minister. Russia rolling out the red carpet for Prime Minister Narendra Modi. On the itinerary bilaterals with China, that really is on top of the agenda. The big question here is whether India and China will be having a bilateral for discussion on further disengagement along the LAC. He's arrived in Kazan in Russia to attend the 16th BRICS summit. This has been held under the chairmanship of Russia this time around. The summit, remember, brings together leaders from different countries. The Prime Minister is expected to hold bilaterals with his counterparts during this event. On your screens right now, the Prime Minister being welcomed by members of the diaspora is always excited to welcome Prime Minister Narendra Modi. Now, what's really on the itinerary? The summit is going to begin, Russia says, uh, with uh, dinner for all leaders. Okay, telling these are pictures. In fact, let's take a listen also of uh, these ground reports coming in from Russia, where the Prime Minister is right now. Russia and Kazan right now on your screen pictures of the cultural program uh, that was held a while ago in the Prime Minister's welcome. He's been welcomed again. He's in fact uh, got a rousing welcome in Russia as you can see in these pictures. Russians performing and these are cultural performances just ahead of just uh, just when the Prime Minister touched down in Kazan in Russia. He's also been welcomed by members of the diaspora. As you can see in these uh, lovely pictures coming in of the Prime Minister. Enjoy. It was very excited. We were so nervous. Uh, 
because we rehearsed this dance about three months and now with the time to show it, we were so nervous. You were? You were. Did you enjoy? Did you yes! Was it enjoyable? Enjoyable? Yes. How long, how long have you been learning Indian dance? years my mom uh, decided me to Indian dance in our town so now I'm dancing here what all what all dances do you know what all Indian dances do you know uh, what all Indian dances do we know Kathak, Bollywood, Garba and uh, so on. Okay. And uh, what attracted you to the Indian dance? We dance, we dance Kathak and, and Garba and Russian dance. Wonderful. Uh, Indian, Indian dance guru or Russian dance guru? Your dance teacher, Indian or Russian? Our dance teacher uh, is Russian, but she really like Indian, and uh, she teach us Indian dances. Uh, she's uh, Tatiana Klishnikova. Is she here? Yes, she's here. How many of you have been to India? Have you been to India? No, no. no. What? <laughs> we really want to go, go to go India. India. Go to India. <laughs> Please. Visit <laughs> us in India. Say, visit us in India. Thank you. G. All right. So you heard, in fact, from the Russians who performed for the Prime Minister. They said they worked for this speaking volumes of... Uh, the kind of welcome the Prime Minister has got in Russia. It's a rousing welcome for Prime Minister Narendra Modi in Russia. He's arrived in Kazan for the BRICS summit. Members of the diaspora also welcomed him. As always, let's take a listen to my colleague Gaurav, who's in France. पहले बायलैटरल जिसके बारे में बात हो रही है वो भारत के प्रधानमंत्री नरेंद्र मोदी और रूस के राष्ट्रपति व्लादिमीर पुतिन के बीच जो बातचीत है उसकी यहाँ चर्चा की जा रही है ये तो हुई पहली मुलाकात जो दूसरी मुलाकात होगी वो कहा जा रहा है कि ईरान के राष्ट्रपति मसूद पिजिशियान के साथ हो सकती है वो यहाँ पर आ रहे हैं और ईरान भी ब्रिक्स का अब सदस्य बन रहा है तो ये बेहद एक महत्वपूर्ण बात है और जो तीसरी मुलाकात है जिसकी चर्चा हर ओर हो रही है और वो भारत के प्रधानमंत्री मंत्री नरेंद्र मोदी और चीन के राष्ट्रपति शी जिनपिंग के बीच क्या अलग बातचीत होगी देखिए कहा तो यही जा रहा है कि प्रयास दोनों ही तरफ से है चीन के राष्ट्रपति की भी यहां कई महत्वपूर्ण बैठकें हैं और भारत के प्रधानमंत्री की भी अगर दोनों के बीच वो परस्पर समय निकल पाता है तो दोनों के बीच बातचीत का एक सिलसिला शुरू होगा जिसके बाद भारत और चीन के बीच संबंधों को एक बार फिर औपचारिक स्तर पर शुरू करने के लिए और रिश्तों को सुधारने कैसे बढ़ाया जाए वो बात उस पर चर्चा आगे बढ़ सकती है राजीव और गेटिंग इन दोस्ट डिटेल्स फ्रॉम रशिया वेरी इज राइट नो इन काजान वेयर द ब्रिक्स समिट इज बीइंग हेल्ड द समिट ब्रिंग्स टुगेदर रिमेंबर लीडर्स फ्रॉम ब्रिक्स मेंबर कंट्रीज द प्राइम मिनिस्टर इज आल्सो इंपोर्टेंटली एक्सपेक्टेड टू होल्ड बायलैटरल मीटिंग्स विद दिस काउंटरपार्ट्स स्पेशली विद चाइना ड्यूरिंग this particular event. Listen in to what the diaspora has had to say about this meeting. प्रधानमंत्री नरेंद्र मोदी यहाँ पर आ रहे हैं कजान में एक नया कॉन्सुलेट खुल रहा है इंडियन uh, कम्युनिटी उसको किस तरह से दिखती है हमें बस हेल्प मिल जाएगी हमें यूजुअली एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव जो 
काम रहते हैं वीजा एक्सटेंशन वगैरह उसमें बहुत दिक्कत पड़ती है यूजली बट अगर गवर्नमेंट हमें यहाँ पे हेल्प करेगी तो हमारे लिए सभी के लिए स्टूडेंट्स के लिए इजी रहेगा वेन द प्राइम मिनिस्टर कम्स एम टोल यूर सिंगिंग कीर्तन दज अ भजन एंड कीर्तन वट कीर्तन हैव यू प्रिपेयर प्लीज वी विल सिंग हरे कृष्ण महामंत्र Okay. And okay we will we yeah. will show you yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare very great opportunity for us to be here we are very excited for this thing yeah. even our parents in india are very excited for us <laughs> yeah exactly we are feeling proud to be to see us like uh, we are meeting uh, the narendra modi ji yeah really yeah we do so so tell me now that there's a consulate here uh, what's the response uh, you know from all the youngsters how will that consulate in kazan help you the indian consulate in kazan Uh, for the students community it will be very helpful so that uh, earlier we used to, uh, if any problems occur we used to go to moscow so if it consulate will open in kazan it is very helpful for us as a student all right so members of the diaspora that you heard from welcoming the prime minister it's an important meeting that the prime minister is a part of this remember is the brics summit um russia has said that the summit is going to begin with an evening dinner for all leaders wherein the russian president vladimir putin the south african president the chinese president the egyptian president and the prime minister will discuss a broad range of global issues the prime minister is also expected to be in a bilateral with his chinese counterpart and this assumes a great deal of significance in the light of the galvan clashes from june 2020 when the relationship between india and china has never been the same ever since the clashes took place and tensions build up at the line of actual control the prime minister today before leaving for russia has spoken about the fact that india attaches immense importance to brics he also spoke about the fact that he looks forward to extensive discussions on a wide range of subjects i look forward he said to meeting various leaders there the prime minister's office spoke about the 16th brics summit and india's commitment to close cooperation the brics and the forum's role in addressing key global issues